it's Jessie V, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you some very scary things about Miss Piggy. Every once in a while on my channel, I like to take a character that we all know and love from most of our childhoods and tell you something scary about it, because there always is. And I hope that most of you watching know who Miss Piggy is. If you do, comment the pig emoji. If you don't, I do you watch anything? She's famous. So we're gonna get into her strange history, a creepypasta, the lost tapes, all that fun stuff. But before I get started, I have been away for so long that like there's so many cool things going up on our website and I have to show you some of them. And yes, I'm getting into the Christmas spirit. So these are all for winter and Christmas. I am so excited. And for those of you saying, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. It's why are you talking about Christmas? For us Canadians, Thanksgiving was beginning of October. So like Christmas is next for me. I'm already done Thanksgiving. So for I think the first time ever we're actually doing like skincare products and bath products and they come in cute little sets for Christmas and this line has all kinds of cute little furry creatures all over them with like Santa hats and stuff. So in here there is a bath fizzy, bath soap, and bath salt. These smell so good. So we have so many bath gift sets. This one comes with a cute little reindeer headband. There's gift sets that open up Guys, they smell so good. This entire studio smells like berries and Christmas and yumminess. I am just obsessed with the packaging of these things. These are the hand cream bundles. I mean, come on, the little pom-poms. These are just really, really great stocking stuffers. More bath fizzies. And this is the coolest part, okay? If you can't decide between all of those, we have our first ever advent calendar and it's partnered with this company so these are like mini versions of things that i just showed you and this is the advent calendar 12 days of beauty guys i love advent calendars and i love it even more when it's not just like chocolates and candies that disappear in your mouth in two seconds these are so good and they will keep you smelling gorgeous and feeling good for all of winter this is our sample box because of course i had to like open up every single window to make sure everything looked good. <laughs> I don't want to put a product out there unless it's amazing. So yeah, it comes with 12 different size doors. So inside there's soaps, body lotions, hand cream, loofahs. Some of them even have like little cute home decor items like this little tiny Christmas tree. It's just so cute. So we do have limited stock of these because we've never done them before. So if you would like one, I will link it down below along with the other like stocking bundles and stuff like that. I love this this line. I feel like it's something so different, so I'm just so, so excited. And just keep in mind, with shipping times before Christmas, this is the time to get stuff like this now. So yeah, if you would like our first ever advent calendar, link down below. Oh, and by the way, the product sizes are amazing. Like, they're not super, super teeny tiny. Let me just take one out for you. Like, for example, this is one of the shower gels. Like, that is an amazing size for an advent calendar. Like, so it's not like super teeny tiny things. These are actually good sizes. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into today's video. First talking about the history of Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy is one of the central characters on The Muppet Show and her first appearance was in 1976. She's a prima donna pig who is absolutely convinced that she's destined for stardom and nothing is gonna stand in her way. Her public face is the soul of feminine charm, but she can instantly fly into a rage whenever she think she's insulted or thwarted and Kermit the Frog has learned this all too well when she isn't smothering him in kisses she's sending him flying through the air with a karate chop. I remember absolutely loving her when I used to watch her as a kid. She always had the coolest outfits and I actually found her so pretty even though she's a pig. And she was actually played by a man named Frank Oz which also surprised me when I found out this fact and he was also Bert Grover and Cookie Monster on Sesame Street. And another really interesting fact is that her name isn't actually Miss Piggy. Like that's kind of like the short form nickname that people call her, but her real name is Pegathius. Pegathius, is that how you say it? Which in Greek actually means river of passion, which is interesting. And what's so funny about her is that she's able to do everything, any hobby, any talent. She could do karate, she can play instruments, she could tap dance, she can ride motorcycles, she can do synchronized swimming, she does everything. And with her being so wonderful, you wouldn't think there could be any creepy stories about her, but you're wrong. And you should know me by now that with basically anything, 
I can find something scary about it. So this first story is called Lost and Found. This story is about a little girl that was walking through the mall with her mom when they passed a lost or found area that was basically this large container filled with toys and mittens and hats and just lost things that people lose in the mall. You know, probably toys that kids in strollers just drop without realizing it. And this little girl saw something in this pile of stuff that caught her attention. It was a little Miss Piggy plushie, one that came out in 1984. I believe they were actually called Muppet Babies. And this doll was dirty and had stains all over it and the hair was falling out. But the girl was still really drawn to it for some reason. She ran right over to it and grabbed it and the mom was obviously like, no, 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 like that's not yours and that's very dirty. But to their surprise, this mall employee walked right over to them and explained that this toy was actually dropped off by a family who didn't want it anymore, which was very unusual because usually people are bringing stuff there because they don't own it and they just found it somewhere. But this family just like wanted to get rid of it. So she told the girl that if she wanted it, she could have it. And the mother was a little hesitant because obviously you don't know where it's been, where it's come from. It's, you know, a little, little dirty looking. But the girl was so obsessed with it that the mother let her have it. And as you can imagine, it only took a few days before something went wrong. The little girl began calling for her mom in the middle of the night, complaining that the plushie was talking to her. And the mother was so confused because it's not supposed to be a talking toy. So she picked it up and squeezed its hand and its stomach and it didn't say any words and there wasn't even a place to put a battery pack in. And this went on for weeks with her daughter not sleeping. So one night the mother decided to wait in the hallway right outside her daughter's bedroom. And to her surprise, almost right after her daughter had fallen asleep, she started to hear something coming from her daughter's closet where her Miss Piggy doll was kept and it sounded like a man trying to make a high-pitched voice, kind of like he was trying to imitate Miss Piggy, which is terrifying to think about. And he was saying things like, little girl, little girl, come over here, come and see Miss Piggy, come get closer. So the mother ran into the room, picked up the plushie, took it into the kitchen, grabbed a pair of scissors, started ripping apart the material to see inside this plushie. And what she saw made her heart stop because there was a camera behind the eye of the Miss Piggy doll with a tiny speaker beneath it. Um. And yeah, that is absolutely horrifying. And the thing is, I don't know if this is a creepypasta or if this is real because stuff like this has happened before. Cameras and things have been hidden in kids' toys. Even like things like baby monitors and stuff have been hacked and people talk through it and look through it. And like, it's just a privacy invasion that is terrifying. And then of course, I had to talk about the lost tapes of Miss Piggy. I found this strange story about a father who bought a used VHS tape of the Muppets and would put the movie on for his kids and he would leave the room and just go do whatever he needed to do. And he always wondered why his kids would be up and moving like 20 minutes later as if the movie ended and they were bored and wanted to do something else. He began to think that maybe it was just like a, a super short movie. So one day he decided to stay and sit down on the couch with his kids to watch the movie with them. And just as he anticipated about 20 minutes into the movie, this glitch happens where Miss Piggy is in the middle of singing and the movie just freezes while her mouth is wide open open and it stays like that for about five minutes straight. So you're just like looking at this horrifying image of like Miss Piggy's mouth wide open. It kind of looks like she's about to like come out of your screen to bite you. And so after these five minutes, it slowly fades to black and then opens up into this new scene. It shows this strange footage of Miss Piggy standing in the dark looking dazed. She's covered in mud and dirt. Her hair is a mess and she's just like staring into the distance and the music is this low rumble of suspense, but nothing is actually happening. And then the VHS tape comes to an end and there's just static on the screen. And so the father was so freaked out, obviously like got rid of the VHS tape, but apparently he did like some research online and there's other people who have said that this has happened to them as well, which is so creepy. And I'm hoping this is just a creepypasta because if I stumbled across that, I would be terrified. Like, what does it mean? Why is Miss Piggy like in some dark, creepy room looking scared. If you guys have ever seen this, 
definitely let me know. But anyways, that is the end of today's video. If you want me to do more videos talking about some scary stuff about characters we know and love, give this video a thumbs up and let me know and maybe comment down below what character you want me to do next. And don't forget if you'd like one of our new advent calendars, I have linked it down below, but I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!